Now that you've been properly introduced to the control panel, let's dive into some routing. As I mentioned, and I will mention it again, we have three different categories, physical analog, physical digital, and virtual. So let's have a look. You're gonna notice that these headers on the side are labeled from and to. That means the signal flow starts here and it ends down here. And then the colors correspond to what that input is labeled. So for example, blue, light blue is preamp, dark blue is Thunderbolt play, purple is USB and so forth. So let's identify our physical inputs, all right? The physical inputs on the unit are the following. Preamp, channels one through eight. The digital inputs are ADA in and SPDIF in, and everything else is virtual. So if we follow that logic, we can identify that at the bottom as well. Physical analog would be line out, one through eight, headphone one and two, monitor and reamp. Those are the physical analog outputs. The physical digital outputs would be ADA out one through 16 and SPDIF out one and two. That means that everything else is virtual. So with that in mind, let's dive deeper. In this first scenario, I'm gonna plug up my turntables, which is what I'm using the Akai BT500. And I'm plugging this in to the Antelope Audio Zentor channel five and six. I'm using RCA to XLR cables, and I'm using a pair. So what I'm gonna do on the top of the physical analog is make sure that I have this set to line, group them, and I can trim my level. I'm gonna trim my level down by 6 dB because the BT500 has a built-in phono preamp and it's basically sending line out. So let's identify this. Channel five and six is gonna be vinyl. And that's gonna correspond here to preamp five and six. We can double click on it and they're labeled vinyl one and two. And right off the top, I can see that that's assigned to Thunderbolt record channels five and six. And it's also assigned to USB record five and six. But I'm using the Zentor as a Thunderbolt interface. So really that whole USB row is not gonna apply to my setup. I can also see that that vinyl channel one and two is also going to mix channel one, which is basically the first mixer, channels five and six. So let's have a look. We're gonna go to the mixer tab, go to mixer one, and we're gonna see that's properly labeled five and six. Let's group these, pan it left and right, bring the volume down, and let's play some vinyl. For this example, I'm gonna play a 45 that I recorded when I was just a, a wee lad. I hope you guys enjoy it. So while that record is playing, let's take a look at what's going on with the mixer. I can see that the vinyl channels are coming in, which are the physical preamp channels five and six on this channel, but I can also see that they're coming in on their virtual channel. So let's identify them. We're gonna go back to routing, choose preamp, and anything that's highlighted is where they're going to. So they're going to AFX in channels five and six. Let's have a look. We'll group these and you can see the label, vinyl one, vinyl two. So let's see what happens if we add some compression to this. Let's go back to our mixer and they're coming up on these channels. So what I can do from here is I can mute the monitor of the physical inputs and then listen to the playback through the AFX. Adjust the volume. So 
Let's go ahead and stop our record. So by plugging a turntable or any audio source into the Zen Tour, we were able to rename it here on the preamp and assign it to multiple destinations. We were able to assign it to the mixer, which are these channels. We were also able to assign it to the AFX, which are these channels, and return them on the mixer. In the next example, we're gonna take this further and record this into our DAW.